No matter who you are, who your parents are or were, where you live, what you do for a living, or how much money you have, you're probably living at about 40% of your true capability. The Buddha famously said that life is suffering. I'm not a Buddhist, but I know what he meant and so do you. To exist in this world, we must contend with humiliation, broken dreams, sadness, and loss. Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror. Life isn't always about doing the things we like to do. It's about doing things we have to do. People take classes on self-help, mental toughness, breathing control. The only way to get tougher is to put yourself in hellacious situations. It's about what we do with opportunities revoked or presented to us that determine how a story ends. You have to build calluses on your brain just like how you build calluses on your hands. Callous your mind through pain and suffering. In order for me to be the person that I wanted to become, I saw myself as the weakest person that God ever created. I wanted to change that into being the hardest man ever created. But you don't have to let your doubt into the cockpit. You can tolerate doubt as a backseat driver, but if you put doubt in the pilot seat, defeat is guaranteed. Remembering that you've been through difficulties before and have always survived to fight again shifts the conversation in your head. It will allow you to control and manage doubt and keep you focused on taking each and every step necessary to achieve the task at hand. Success is based off of your willingness to work your ass off no matter what obstacles are in your way. It's easier to accept the fact that you're just not good enough. We all have a lot more than we think we have. No matter what avenue I choose, I want to be the very best. And, the very best may not be number one, but the very best may be, did I leave everything inside of me out there? Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. It's so easy to be great nowadays because most people are just weak. If you have any mental toughness, any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it, you'll be successful. In the military we always say we don't rise to the level of our expectations, we fall to the level of our training. The human body can withstand and accomplish a hell of a lot more than most of us think possible, and that it all begins and ends in the mind. You will never learn from people if you always tap dance around the truth. I'm a big believer of doing something that sucks every single day of your life. I believe it's a key component into strengthening your mind. It's a lot more than mind over matter. It takes relentless self-discipline to schedule suffering into your day, every day. This one's for the unusual mother of asterisk curs in this world. A lot of people think that once they reach a certain level of status, respect, or success, that they've made it in life. I'm here to tell you that you always have to find more. Greatness is not something that if you meet it once it stays with you forever. That shit evaporates like a flash of oil in a hot pan. To those people who say, I'm good, you ain't good man, you ain't never, expletive, arrived. That's just my mentality. You may have more than I do, but you've never, expletive, arrived. Don't get mad at others because life is kicking your ass. 
We live in a world with a lot of insecure, jealous people. Some of them are our best friends. They are blood relatives. Failure terrifies them. So does our success. Because when we transcend what we once thought possible, push our limits, and become more, our light reflects off all the walls they've built up around them. Your light enables them to see the contours of their own prison, their own self-limitations. But if they are truly the great people you always believe them to be, their jealousy will evolve, and soon their imagination might hop its fence, and it will be their turn to change for the better. Don't limit expectations of yourself and settle for anything less than what you are truly capable of achieving. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. Period. When you fall down, focus on the solution, not the problem. You might quit or fail 100 times. Keep that clear picture of where you want to be. A lot of us don't know about another world that exists for us because it's on the other side of suffering. That's the real growth in life. But visualization isn't simply about daydreaming of some trophy ceremony, real or metaphorical. You must also visualize the challenges that are likely to arise and determine how you will attack those problems when they do. That way you can be as prepared as possible on the journey. I thought I'd solved a problem when really I was creating new ones by taking the path of least resistance. It won't always go your way, so you can't get trapped in this idea that just because you've imagined a possibility for yourself that you somehow deserve it. Your entitled mind is dead weight. Cut it loose. Don't focus on what you think you deserve. Take aim on what you are willing to earn. Anyone who is of sound mind and body can sit down and think of 20 things in their life that could have gone differently. Where maybe they didn't get a fair shake and where they took the path of least resistance. If you're one of the few who acknowledge that, want to callous those wounds, and strengthen your character, it's up to you to go back through your past and make peace with yourself by facing those incidents and all of your negative influences, and accepting them as weak spots in your own character. Only when you identify and accept your weaknesses will you finally stop running from your past. Then those incidents can be used more efficiently as fuel to become better and grow stronger. Only you can master your mind, which is what it takes to live a bold life filled with accomplishments most people consider beyond their capability. As humans, we're reading books every day to try to figure out how to be someone else. What we don't do is go inside, turn ourselves inside out, and read our own story. You have to look inside to find out what you really want. Our culture has become hooked on the quick fix, the life hack, efficiency. Everyone is on the hunt for that simple action algorithm that nets maximum profit with the least amount of effort. There's no denying this attitude may get you some of the trappings of success, if you're lucky, but it will not lead to a calloused mind or self-mastery. If you want to master the mind and remove your governor, you'll have to become addicted to hard work. Because passion and obsession, even talent, are only useful tools if you have the work ethic to back them up. Every morning in our lives, we have a choice to make. You have the choice to stay in bed and say, forget it, I'm not going to work out today, or, forget it, I'm not going to work hard today. That's your choice that you make every single day of your life. 
make the right decision.